Okay, so in this video we're being asked to find the value of x so that the line through the points has the given slope. So notice here that we're provided the slope, which is going to be a half, and then we're provided these two points in which this line passes through. However, notice that we're missing the x value of this point. So that's what they want us to find. They want us to find the x value of this point so that the line will have this given slope, okay? Now, this goes back to the equation of a slope between two points, and we have talked about this in the past, okay? And that equation is going to be the following. We're gonna have m, where m is our slope, and then we'll have y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Okay, so again, we have talked about this in the past, so if this is something new to you, be sure to check out those previous videos where we talk about finding the slope between two points. Okay, but just getting right into this, our first step is we need to assign values to our points here. Okay, so we all know that this is x, y, x, y, so I need to assign some values. So I'm going to call this x1. And since this is going to be x1, this has to be y1. So notice here that I'm keeping my numbers together. In this case, I'm keeping the ones together, right? I'm not gonna call this y2, all right? So if this is x1, this has to be y1. And as a result, this is going to be x2, y2. Again, keeping my twos together. Now you could have gone in reverse. You could have called this x2, but if you did that, you'd have to call this y2. Okay, you'll still get the same answer, okay? But the key takeaway here is making sure you're staying consistent. I mean, if you call this x1, this has to be y1, all right? Same thing here. If you call this x2, this has to be y2, all right? So keep the numbers together. So all we have to do now is plug this into our equation. We know the slope that's represented by m. Our slope is a half. So I'm going to go ahead and start plugging this in. So we have a half equal to... So what is y2? Well, what do we have here? It's going to be two. So I put two, and then I include the minus sign because that's part of our equation. y1 is gonna be negative three. Okay, let's work on the denominator. x2 is going to be seven. Include the minus sign because again, that's part of the equation. And then x1, well, we don't know what that is. That's what we're trying to solve for. So I'm just gonna put the variable here, which is x. Okay. Let's go ahead and clean up our numerator. So again, I'm just gonna write it right here. We'll have a half equal to, so again, two negatives here will make a positive, right? So we get five over seven minus x. So look what we have here. We have two fractions that are equal to each other. This is a proportion. And when we're given a proportion, we can solve it by using cross multiplication. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm simply just going to cross multiply. So I'm gonna do five times two and I'm going to get 10. And then I do one times seven minus X. Well, that's just going to be seven minus X, okay? Let's go ahead and subtract seven now on both sides. So this will cancel. So three equal to negative x. So let's go ahead and write it again right here. So three equal to negative x. All right, our last step, we wanna get rid of that negative. So we need to divide both sides by negative one. Right, so we can see here, our final answer is going to be x equals negative three. Okay, and that is going to be our final answer.